Thanks for watching. We appreciate you. Please, please subscribe. County yesterday. Deputies say they'd been to the home on Shackbark Drive very early in the morning for a domestic dispute. That was hours before the shooting. Fox has Doug Evans has more on the investigation this afternoon. Coweta County deputies tell me that the woman was so concerned about her safety Tuesday that she established a code word with a friend saying that if she texted that code word, her life was in danger. That friend got the text around 2 o'clock in the afternoon and called 911. Coweta County deputies say when they arrived at the home Tuesday afternoon, they first heard shouting and then gunfire. As the deputy was knocking on the door, uh, he heard gunshots. He went back to his patrol vehicle to get his rifle when the female ran out of the house. The sheriff's office says the victims are husband and wife. They say it appears that he shot her and attempted to take his own life. The Coweta County Sheriff's Office says the wife received two gunshot wounds, one to the head and one to the abdomen. They say she was in improving condition Wednesday and was expected to pull through. They say the husband received a single gunshot to the head and was in grave condition. Both are at Grady Hospital. The couple's home is in an upscale Coweta County neighborhood. The home shows damage from a recent hailstorm last March. A neighbor says they were a lovely couple, one of the most popular in the neighborhood. Sheriff's deputies say the trouble at the house started very early in the morning Tuesday before sunrise. So deputies responded to the residents earlier in the morning in reference to a domestic dispute. Uh, the two parties on scene advised deputies that they were going to talk it out a little bit longer and then separate for the day. The deputies say the couple have two children, 10 and 7 years old. The seven-year-old was at home during the time, but was unharmed. Thanks for watching. We appreciate you. Please, please subscribe.